What's up everybody? Bob KK4DIV coming to you from the man cave. Sorry about the mess going on behind you guys, behind me guys, but uh, uh, just had a lot going on here in this room and I haven't cleaned it up in a while so you gotta forgive me. But today I've been playing around with my new Islands HS1 radio. Now I've done a little research and I found out a little bit more about this radio and this radio is a clone of the MCHF QRP radio. Uh, it's a Chinese clone. And uh, as a matter of fact, the one I got, the box says recent, RS918. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm sure that this is coming out of the same factory or same warehouse that the Islands is. Maybe Islands bought uh, a batch of these from, um, from these uh, recent folks, uh, these RS918. 918s. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but uh, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Islands is selling them on their website. You can also get uh, the, the recent off of Amazon and things like that. So I'm kind of curious as to what the backstory is there, but um, you know, whatever. Um, one thing I've done today is I have updated the firmware to this. The firmware was a uh, um, an older version uh, from 2017 is what was on there when I got it. Uh, what I've upgraded it to is the most recent as of April 7th. And I also updated the bootloader as well. Took a lot of tries to get the bootloader to load up, but uh, Ham Radio Concepts has an excellent video out there. Uh, he talks about how to do that. I followed it. Pretty much, I did a couple little things different because I couldn't get it to upload. Um, there is a place on the right-hand side of this software, and let me pull it up on my computer here, this uh, Defuse, D-F-U-S-E, software to load up the bootloader. Um, there's a right-hand side of the screen where it says Update, um, and he was uploading on the left hand side of the screen uh, where it says upload action uh, the you chose the file and uploaded from there I on the other hand couldn't get that to work so I did it from the right hand side of the screen where it says upgrade and he said he couldn't get that to work but I was able to get that to work and I chose the file there and pressed the upgrade button and boom shakalaka radio updated to the latest firm uh, latest bootloader then I was able to go and get the um, firmware upgrade this is the hottest and latest firmware like I said this was April 7th and I had ran into a little bit of problem there uh, when I and I followed ham radio concepts guide uh, excellent video go check it out on this uh, recent uh, clone or the clone of the MCHF, the recent 918. Go check out that video on how to upgrade the firmware. Um, when I put my flash drive in there, it said it couldn't find the right bootloader. It was looking for a different name. Uh, this bootloader is called uh, uh, BL uh, HF. BL-MCHF and it was looking for a BL-HF SDR was the name it was looking for so I changed the name of the file what's the worst could happen I bricked the radio you know um, hopefully that wouldn't happen and hopefully if I did I'd be able to fall back onto the old bootloader or old firmware um, but it didn't boot it didn't brick it uh, it worked and now I am operating with, let's see here, find the right menu, it's got a lot of menus. Uh, 2.11.50 is the firmware and the bootloader is 5.0.4. Uh, the old bootloader was, uh, was a 3.2.4 I believe and the old firmware was a 2.5 uh, so um, much newer uh, this does have the capability for um, PSK 
uh, hook a keyboard to this thing and you can PSK right out of here. Don't have to have it hooked to another computer. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Ritty um, and uh, lots of other little upgrades here. The only thing I don't like about this radio so far is I have not been able to get the SDR, SDR, the SWR a meter to properly work right. I've gone through some calibrations uh, and all that and it just will not uh, calibrate. Um, it ranges on the scale between a, a, a one and a three and uh, I've hooked and that's as far that's that's all the scale that this thing has so um, I know just a little bit over one to one and a half on here uh, is good anything over about a one and a half um, on the SWR meter is uh, no good uh, it's over a three to one uh, SWR on a meter so uh, I just have to keep an eye on that. I wish that worked properly and I was hoping that the firmware upgrade would fix that and unfortunately it does not look like it did. Um, but that's what I've been working on today. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, play a little bit more and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sign off with you guys. I just wanna kinda give everybody an update on this little radio. So 73 everybody, this is Bob, KK4DIV. Until next time, bye-bye.